With busy and sometimes challenging lives, our journals provide a happy escape. And with this journal that I made last week, I'm sharing my own happy place for creative fun. I'm using a prompt from Junk Journal July to create a relaxing and easy spread. Just a little inspiration for you. And if you're addicted to paper like me and you're a journaling fan, then hit the subscribe button and ring the little notification bell because I have many more videos and ideas to come. The prompt that I'm working on today is Note to Self and these are some of the supplies that I want to try to use in my spread. I might use this little image as a pocket down here and I'd love to work this ink splat stamp into the design. I have this cute pair of birds from a Happy Mail, I'm not quite sure where that might go. And I definitely want to put a handmade envelope onto the page somewhere. So let's have a go. I'm going to make a small envelope like this, using a very simple technique. I'm using a scoring board with grooves and a relatively thick piece of paper, so this is a book page. I'm using my bone folder, a pair of scissors and this glue stick. So you don't need a special tool or template. I liked this pattern on the page because it goes with the stars that I want to use later. Start by scoring the sides, the top and the bottom. I have a video showing this technique in really easy steps, so I'll link that down below. In fact, you don't even have to have a scoring board to make this, so it's a great project for making something fun without spending much money. And you want to score so that the top flap overlaps the bottom by about a centimetre or half an inch. and to crisp up the folds to use the verticals and these horizontals to help me know where to cut. I want to cut from the bottom to this midpoint and from here to here. So I'm just making this snip slightly to the left of the fold and here slightly to the right of the fold. And the same on the other side. keeping most of this image intact. For the top flap I want to cut here and here, so a couple of simple snips. Very quick and very easy. So we've cut the corner at an angle down here and at a larger angle up here. And to glue the flaps down to get a smart little envelope for our spread. And here's a couple that I made and decorated earlier. I'm going to add text to the left hand side, up here and over here. And I just want to trim that corner first. I'm putting some text on the left hand side here, just some handwriting in a deep dark black ink. I always feel it's a little bit naughty to write on a book page, a, a little bit naughty but really special. I don't know whether that makes any sense but I'd love to know if that makes sense to you. And really I'm just writing some thoughts that interpret the prompt note to self. Be happy with your own style. And remember to reach out, connect and share. Share what we make and enjoy it. I chose a few words at the beginning of 2019, play, learn and grow, and I thought I'd just revisit them here today. And on a piece of grey coloured cardstock, I'm just logging the prompt itself.
I've made some little journaling cards in colours that go with the spread and I'm going to use these as a reminder in July and a place to just log some thoughts. The first one here is gratitude, place for a gratitude log and a place for making a list about what makes me happy about paper. This one is headed up the joy of paper, so maybe things that I like making. And here's a place to capture good things that happened today. They're each just little notes to myself. I'm trimming down this image, leaving as much space on the right as I have on the left. And that will be another little journaling card to go in the envelope. And I'm really excited about adding colour to this page today. I'm using watercolour pencils up here in the shades Espresso, Pear and Burnt Ochre. And I'm also using these Arteza paints playing with these yellows and a few of these shades of green rather than doing a wash on the whole page. I want to lay down some colour from the pencils and then just see if I can match that up with paint from the watercolour palette. I guess I'm being true to the words on the page here. My encouragement, be happy with your own style. I love playing with colour, it's just peaceful and relaxing. And it's fun when I get the colour to pop when I add water from this water brush. So it isn't artistically special, but it's a process that I just enjoy. I'm mixing up the yellow here to try to match the colour from the pencil. And you can see that I've stuck to a simple three colour palette. And I think I've managed to mix up a few shades that I like. The green paint is meant to match the green in the plant on the left. And now to use that little envelope. Just trimming the corners of this piece. Gathering up the cards and tucking them into the envelope. I'm going to attach it like a fold out, putting glue on the back of the flap. So I'm just using a glue stick here and popping it into place, pressing it down. I've added some faux stitching to this, a little bit of detail. And I'm just adding a border around the left hand page. And because that's a bold botanical image, my stitches are quite large. I want something extra on the left, so here I'm making up a little banner. It's just a little scrap paper that I had left from another project. Adding a few words here, the joy of paper, junk journal July. Snipping off the end, making it a little shorter, and then gluing that down too. Mm -hmm. 
You can see a couple of stars on the page and I'm just adding a third to the V of the banner. I'm sticking note to self on the front of the envelope here. And I've added just a little bit of black and white spotty washi. I've finished this page with a tiny stitched border. And this is my easy and relaxing spread. Note to self for Junk Journal July. Check out the links below for a discount code on the pencils and paints. And hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can join me next week for lots more junk journaling fun.